We're here today doing a mock drowning scenario with the Phoenix Fire Department to encourage our community to know the possibilities and the risks involved in swimming and having a distracted parent. It's really easy for people to get distracted, so what we encourage the community to do is if you're in the, the pool with a young child, is don't let those outside distractions get to you. Make sure you have constant eyesight of your child. Now it's important that uh, whoever is experiencing that emergency, that they call 911, they provide as much information as they can for the responding officer so they know exactly what they're getting into. Uh, whether it's a pool, a tub, or the canal, or a, a pond, uh, it's very important to provide as much information so that officers can prepare for the proper equipment to use. But the vital information that's necessary is the age of the patient, how long that patient's been submerged, uh, how long it's been since the family has seen that patient conscious and, and speaking, because that gives us a time frame of what exactly uh, we need to provide as resources. But once the officer gets there, they're going to take over immediate medical aid by providing CPR. It's essential to start that CPR as soon as possible. So it's very beneficial for any family members, any community members out there to have those basic CPR classes, the basic first aid information so that that medical treatment can be started immediately. They're going to continue that treatment until the fire department comes on scene and then we'll have that transfer of patient care from the police department to the fire department all the way up until that patient gets to the hospital. Best things to do to mitigate any of these possible outcomes, uh, negative outcomes, is to uh, teach your child how to swim. There's a lot of resources for the city of Phoenix that will help you and, and provide information to teach your child how to swim as well as provide information for you as a parent for basic CPR classes.